what is up my little babies welcome to another episode of um what are we watching what are we watching oh yeah we're watching hip-hop with Lou. that's totally me okay so um it's been a minute but i'm back with freestyles and um Y'all know how I started busting with the freestyles. It's like if I pick a freestyle, you know it's fire. That's just on a gang. Kids, stay in school. It's not a real gang. Literally, I just say all of the wrong things, okay? Let's get this show started. Rolling. My main aim is to kill these niggas. I cut them stankin' ass dreads out your head and I'm hanging your kids with them. Pistol loaded, put the shit to his brain. I be catching niggas, grandmama slipping. Bitch, give me your cane. Take a purse, then I'm snatching the wig. She getting robbed. I don't give a fuck if your bills do. Get a job. Then I go ask them what happened. He say, they robbed this man. But the whole time it was me. And I'm like, damn, that's crazy. Bitch, this shit can get gruesome. I ain't this red bean, let your head and take half off, nigga. This bitch a coupon. You lacking and I'm packing and I happen to be black. And my reaction will be blasted to you napping in a casket. I'm a savage for that cabbage, I'm a clapping. Take these kids to the back of my bumper and throw it back in the trap. Click clacking two gaps, one a nine and one a four five. A knife with two dildos, the scraps is mismatching. Look, he done bought a knife to the fight. He finna sleep well. I steal his ass and give his knife back. Bitch, I'm Ezel. This shit so sad. I make him shove a tampon up his ass since he wanna be a bitch so bad. Nigga, suck on shit. If your bitch can't suck dick, I put the barrel in the mouth and tell her, fuck on this. Pussy bitch, you about to make me flip. I'm trying to blow your fucking head off. Be still, you gon' make me miss. PD Pablo, this nigga, hella proper. Take a nigga by a dress, North Carolina, spin him around like a helicopter. Hella doctor stitching together. I'm back with Shout out to Coach Seven for putting me on to this motherfucking artist right here he is ill he is lethal he has some of the coldest disrespectful bars he is so clever he is absolutely hilarious his disrespect so disrespectful is hilarious he said my main aim is to kill these niggas i'm gonna cut them spanking ass dreads out your head and then hang these niggas so i'm gonna cut your locks off and then when I cut them off, I'm going to hang you with them. That was a motherfucking bar, kids. This, the, we ain't going to talk about too much of that. But that was a bar that I had to catch. He said, I be catching niggas grandma slipping. Bitch, give me your cane. And then he said, grab a purse. Then I'm snatching her wig. Then he snatched himself with it. You see what I'm saying? This man right here petty. This man right here don't care. He got that disrespect that like Eminem had. Like, you know Eminem going to say anything of the wildest shit on the track and, and you never gonna know what's coming next you don't know what crazy shit is gonna come out of his mouth next Akeem Ali, he, this artist is also like that. I don't know what be about to come out of his fucking mouth next, but I be tuned in like, okay, if that bar doing that, this next bar finna go stupid, dummy, retarded. Like, it's gonna go crazy. Oh, I need my show, do need my bills paid. He said, get a job. That's what you should do, because he ain't finna come over here and spend up all my fucking money. One of these fucking boobs gonna pop out. That's why I keep looking down. But he said, you niggas, you motherfuckers ain't finna come over here spend, spending all my money. You better go get a job but when he, and then y'all see how he broke it down like the person came up to him like hey did you hear what happened and he said damn that's crazy and the whole time it was him you ever did some shit you knew you did it but then the motherfucker tell you like hey you heard what happened they just you know what i'm saying fucked up such and such really that's crazy and the whole time you the motherfucker who fucked him up and then he said aim this red beam at your head and nigga take half off this a coupon and then y'all see what he did with the straps. He said, okay, this strap is this. This strap is that. His 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 weapon. Y'all see what he did with the weapons? Oh, he said this is that. This and this, you know what I'm saying? This is a four five over here. He probably didn't say four five, but I just like saying this is my four five. So he said, okay, boom. It's like two dice with a strap on. Both of the straps is different. Mmm. The strap, but you see how he what he called, cause sometimes they refer to the gun as the strap. When they put that strap on the sexual toy, that's the strap. You see how he co co combined those two. Nigga, pay attention. He brought a knife to a fight. He finna sleep well. He said, I'ma steal his ass and then put his knife back on him. And I'ma call him Ezel. You remember when Ezel, when Debo got his ass whooped? Oh my God, that was a bar. You are one of the coldest artists I've ever seen in my life. She looking good, I had to hit her ass on Snapchat If she looking then she took it and you would never get your boo back Nigga talking stupid, beat that nigga till it blue black You know my nigga straps sit on back like a recap Dick like a drug, I'll make your bitch relapse Put it in her spine, I make her feel it in her kneecaps Couldn't move with mines up until the guy kidnapped She hollering by, mm -mm, when I went to pull my dick out What nigga finna chase you? Bitch who? Not me, I'm knocking hoes down with a two-piece like Ali Pussy get the leakage just from scrolling down my eyes you can call a nigga night quills. I'm giving bitches good sleep. And I'm for real about it. 
Oh, you heard my dick good, bitch, come see about it. And I ain't never gotta talk about it, be about it. And I'ma keep it quiet with you, I won't tell nobody. Hey, Chuck, you fucking with them hoes, mm-hmm. You like them hoes on them poles, mm-hmm. You see them hoes be my goals, mm-hmm. <laughs> So you better make sure she look at the ground when she around me. You feel me? Dick like a drug, I'll make your ass relapse. Girl, oh, ladies, oh, you ever just have that piece of me that just like you said, this gonna be the last time I'm fucking with him. I ain't finna fuck with you no more. I don't care how good it is. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Then they swing the drug back in front of you and your ass relapse and you go right back to it. I'm going to put it in her spine and make her feel it through her kneecaps. That's why her ass relapsed. Nigga, let me tell you what. If you put anything in any places and I feel that shit all the way down to the bottom of my body, you better stay your ass away from me. I don't want nothing from you. I don't want none of that. I don't want none of you because your ass is dangerous and you ain't nothing. But you ain't been sent by nobody else but the devil. Hell no. What nigga finna chase you, bitch? Who? Not me? Cause I'm knocking bitches down like a two piece. I leave like Muhammad Ali. That's how I knock them down. I'm quick. I'm smooth on my feet. Baby, I float like a butterfly. I sting like a bee. And I don't know if you think you finna get chased, but it ain't about to be about me. Bar. Oh. That was good. He said, do you like them girls on them poles? Mm-hmm. I like what he did with the mm-hmm. You still made sure you kept the mm-hmm in there because you can't sing that song without the mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can't do it like that. But, yeah, because we all do like them girls on them poles. At least I do. I know I can only speak for myself. But anyways, you know what? I'm here for this. y'all. This is Versa Day Challenge, day three. Thank you for tuning in. Let's get it. Hey. This was the plan from the beginning But don't get it fucked up, it's damaging, isn't it? In the beginning, it's where the plans can see ignorant Bands in the brain like a cancer malignant And pussy had the man so addicted Fucking with my head like a Xanax prescription Devil on my shoulder, got the man so conflicted Second thoughts tryna hold you ransom restricted I was feeling like the man for a minute This ain't about you, I'm just handling business I'ma get it, Instagram is my witness, girl We can meet up like the standards I'm lifting But I did not subscribe, I'm not a fan Girl, you ain't my type, comic sense Present long after I'm gone like the Sonic's brand Used to fucking get you higher than the strongest gram Ask me my intentions, think it's obvious Put my face front and center so they all see it Maybe I should post my verses so they all read it I just hope you're so in love cause we all need I really like your style. I like your vibe. You're a vibe. You're a vibe. I love when people are a vibe to me because I feel like it, I feel close to y'all because I feel like you just, your spirit's so good. Your talent, your lyrics is pure. It's clean. You know what I'm saying? Like, he said in the beginning, though, your plans could seem ignorant, like crazy, like nobody gonna believe you. But you got to know this was the plan from the beginning. You got to stick to the vision. You feel me? You got to, ooh, have bands on the brain. Like, you know what I'm saying? All you got to think about is the money. You got to keep it in your mind. You got to keep that vision. You got to keep pushing. Even if nobody else believe in you, you see what I'm saying? I knew you was going to be talking that shit. The kitty was so good. It had me addicted like a Xanax prescription hold up because the way they pop pills is the way i need to learn how to pop my kitty because if i can get a motherfucker addicted like they be addicted to them pills i'm good we gonna be here forever you never gonna leave me that's all i want is somebody that's never gonna try to leave me please do not try to leave me because I can't make you no promise that I'm going to let you go. So that's why I got to get, I got to learn how to get him hooked like a Zanny. Yeah, I like what you're doing for me. I got that devil on my shoulder. Mm. And I'm restricted to my second thoughts. Oh, that's fucked up when they, when your mind start playing tricks on you. That's that little thing on your shoulder. And you got to pluck that motherfucker off because you always supposed to go with your first thought. That's why that was a bar. 
Because if you restrict it to your second thought, your second thought is plan B. Your second thought is the fear. Your second thought is the thought that is trying to talk you out of taking a leap and doing something that could change your life forever. So you don't never want to be restricted to your second thought. You always go with your first mind, your first thought, your first gut feeling like, damn, I'm telling you, I love your music because you make my mind go. Some artists I listen to to open up my record side. It's some artists I like to live through in, in, in case I ever wanted to, you know, be a street dude. I was like, damn, y'all just hard. I've always wanted to reenact y'all in movies. You feel what I'm saying? And then there's artists I listen to that makes my mind just think and wonder in all the right places. And that's why I like you. And he said, I'm finna get it and Instagram gonna be my witness. And you know, I felt that bar because a lot of motherfuckers on Instagram don't watch me come from 100 followers to 6K followers. And I know a nigga gonna be like, oh, that's only a little bit still. Bitch, you don't know. I did that shit off of the straight grind and hustle and consistency of being in, in, in entertainment. I didn't do it no other way. I didn't pay no other dollar. I didn't do none of that shit. I just kept pushing myself and I just kept creating and I kept just creating and making motherfuckers laugh and making motherfuckers music just feel and, and making people feel amazing when they create music and that shit got me to where I am right now. So don't come and try to rain on my motherfucker parade because Instagram gonna be my witness. I'm finna get it. You feel me? And if you think I ain't, you can go and kiss my ass. You see what I'm saying? He got me all turned up. I just want to go ahead and take this time to show you some love. You are amazing. You are so talented. You are so intelligent. You are so a fucking vibe. And you know what? This is me giving love to you. This is me hoping that you go very, very far in your music career. This is me telling you, hey, I support you, bud. And if you need me to do anything for you, Come holla at me, you feel me? Because we all need love. And I appreciate the love motherfuck people. Stop saying motherfuckers that people give to me. Oh my God, you see how we just end? Oh my God, he's just... I was coasting through this life and that to humble me. Shit that had to sting just like that wrestler or bumblebee. Searching for my confidence, that bitch been playing hide and seek. Feel like I'm a bust, but deep down know I'm a prodigy. Even when I'm at my lowest, swear that it ain't over. I ain't DeAndre Cortez, but promise I'm a soldier boy. I was in my feelings and my head. That started to affect how I was living and my bread Told me that a shoot a shoot, I had to come up out that slump Acting like I went over the cliff, but I was just a bump One to ten or eight to Z, go get your shit in order, homie If you can't, then we gon' sub you out just like that porter, homie Hold up, look, trying to tell you only you can fuck with you A lot of niggas quit, when you was in the hole, you stuck it through and came out better for it You the truth like Paul Pierce, don't take that as a metaphor Take that as some real shit, something you can feel with only you can fuck with you. A lot of niggas quit. When you was in the hole, you stuck it through and came out better for it. You the truth like Paul Pierce. Don't take that as a man. Not only smooth, but his bars just, they sting like a bee. Because they be clean. They be on point. They be hitting your motherfucking spirit. Searching for my confidence. That bitch been playing hide and seek. Oh my goodness. Come on. Because she been playing with me lately. And it's just like, whoo, sometimes you be quite, you second guess yourself and your confidence. You be like, nigga, I don't know where you at right now, but I need you to come out and play because I need you. I need you. I'm down with myself. And it's just like his raspy voice on the bar delivery. It's just the hoodie down, the black and white feel. It's just, ah. Uh. Ooh. You know what he said? I ain't DeAndre Cortez, but I promise you, I'm a soldier boy. Now, let me tell you what. So Soldier Boy real name is Dion Cortez, but do you see how he used his rapper name to 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 compare it to his actual character? I, his name is Soldier Boy. One one in it. Okay, that's Soldier Boy, but he said, "Sir, but I promise you, I'm a soldier boy." Uh, I'm a fighter boy on my darkest days, boy. That was a clean bar. That was some clean wordplay. That was a nice setup. That was a finger roll right off the backboard right there. I don't know why I've been comparing bars to basketball so much. I think it's just because I'm getting back into my, like, love for sports, I guess. It's, like, weird. He said I was in my feelings and I was in my head. That started to affect how I'm living and my bread. Because let me tell y'all something. The way you thinking in your mind is going to make it your reality. So if you focusing on all the fucked up shit in your life, 
that's all that's gonna keep happening is fucked up shit and you ain't gonna be able to get no money this is me talking to me too stop focusing on the lack of shit you have and focus more on what you do have and what you finna go get you feel me and then that ain't gonna fuck up your bread no more and the bread is gonna be coming till you get back to back to back come on chazzy because this is what i'm saying you are important you are needed in music and you should have been the fuck out of here you should have been out of here as soon as we pull up this popping come to that we kind of you are you're just like amazing like i don't even know what more you want me to say to you just what what all you can do at this point is i could if i could get zay and select drake and chazzy k on an album i mean not an album on a song together y'all will literally change my mind. Like what you said, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. she get wicked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I heard it catching bodies from my life. What you saying? On spit about the streets and them parts of life. Who you playing? I feel like with my nigga that say about what we had. Ain't gonna take none of your charge. My nigga, like what you saying? What you saying? Mm -hmm. She get wicked. She ain't no keeping it real. The jewelry that time I got out and caught him a deal. The jack gave me that time and I swear you went down a hit. I heard them boys slam on the woman they catch you slipping. She my pops one deal, so I'm guessing I wasn't his. My mama gave us salt and them crackers when we were kids. The clutching on that knuckle, my auntie she took us in. Sat spot up in the coast, my cousin she ain't no dead. Trying to end. Mm -hmm. Drink your weekend. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. If you an A and R, I don't know what y'all doing, but y'all need to go up there to the prisons and you need to find one of them brothers in them jail cells that's beating on something because that be the rawest, purest, coldest, most beautiful talent. I don't know what where they go, but I think when you lock down and your freedom is gone, you tap into a different type of talent up in there. That's where y'all need to go. And I like that, rah. like boy, what? What you gonna just rah on the beat? Like you just, you cold, bro, you cold. You get your body from mama, like what you saying? Come on, cause he started that beef this evening. I heard we get your body from mama, what you saying? What you get with you? He got wicked on that beat immediately. Cause he said, I heard y'all niggas catch your body, so what's good? What's what's really good? He stepped on that beat like a real big step. You feel me? I swear about them feet from the body, then what you saying? Like, oh, the way you said, sweat about them. And then you spit, it's, you, you know what I do. Y'all know I catch speed. When you do, when you change your speed on some shit, you know you gonna make me lose my fucking mind. And then you do it and then, then don't lose the beat at all. Don't even fuck up one tap on the table. And then he said, I fell out with my nigga, so that tell me that that's what we had. Because some people fall out over stupid shit. But if you gonna fall out over something like this, that just shows me what type of person you really was and that this was never no real shit to begin with. But... This is actually a song now, but I picked the, the freestyle in the cell because it was just so, it was raw. It wasn't touched. It wasn't no, no engineer on there. It wasn't no producer that touched it yet. It was just you, pure, just raw. Just beauty shining, bright, like just gritty with it. But it was like beautiful. And then he said, see my pop one now, I guess, and the one his. I can't, I can't beat and rap at the same time. Now we gonna get into that because imagine trying to hold a, a steady beat and still say your bars. As y'all can see, I couldn't do that. You, your mind is on two different types of time. One, one part of your mind is like, oh, this beat. The other part of your mind is remembering your bars. And then the third part of your mind is actually making sure you sound good while you saying the bars. Mm -hmm. Bro, you amazing.